So it's the middle of the night, right? I'm just sitting there in my bed, uh, watching some some Hearthstone stream. I'm, I'm watching Crip, my little like pad. It's in a mess on fire, just chilling there in the bed, just minding my own business. And suddenly, I start to hear, goof, goof, goof. And I go, this, so, some, some, somebody in my house, goof, 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 and then. And I'm just thinking, there's like a banshee in my house. And it's funny because I, I just bought the camcorder. So, and, and now ghosts start appearing in my house. Like, this is like the beginning of the Blair Witch Project or something. And, uh, eventually, coof, 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 and the sound gets louder. At this point, I'm freaking out. I put the pad down. I just kind of sit down on the bed. I turn to the side. Caitlin is asleep. Just nothing. I look everywhere. I'm like freaking out. And as I'm about to stand up, I realize as the sound gets louder and faster, I realize my neighbors are having sex. And I go, oh, well. <laughs> I, that was a horrible story, but freaked me out in the middle of the night, and it was pretty audible. And a little bit scary. I, I legitimately got scared, so figured I might just tell that little story. Anyways, what's going on, deets? My name is Re I wanted to say peeps, and I said deets instead of dudes. What's going on, peeps? My name is Rex, and we're back with some more uh, Dark Souls 3. On the last episode, we... Opened up the tower with a key that we spent uh, 20,000 souls uh, purchasing. So I am uh, literally down 80,000 souls since I I completely forgot about the fact that after I killed a dancer, uh, I went to that area where I shouldn't have been and I died and I lost those 6,000 souls and I forgot about it. So in the last episode, I just continue on without like remembering that I had lost those 60,000 souls and then I died. Um, where was it that I died? I, I, uh, I remember that I, yeah, w one of those, uh, dark raids killed me in the, uh, in the swamp. And I, I just didn't even think about it. Oh, shit. So, uh, I lost those, and I also purchased the key, which means that I'm down 80,000 souls. So, I'm probably really, uh, below the level. Where I should be. That's fine. Ah! Oh, you're alive! Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I'll come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it, though. Not one bit. Y you get these urges running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. You know what I mean. Terrible, really. But I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. And that's what counts, right? You know, I actually didn't think about this until just now. This is not something that I've, I'm actually prepared to, to do. It's not a decision I'm ready to make. So I was thinking I could throw a coin, except for the fact that I actually do not possess any currency of any flavor. I do, actually. This, uh... Yeah, I guess it is American. Alright, cool. So, heads. I cut his head. Tails. I'll let him run with tails between his legs. Flavorful and everything. That was a tails. So, we forgive him. Oh, fantastic. A wily second chance. I, I knew you'd understand. I, I just knew it. The heart of a lion. A model for the rest of us. A true friend. Forever. <laughs> I mean, I guess... This probably means that I can buy things from him, which is nice. Um, so what do you have? Lowering skulls. This is everything you need to be a scumbag, right? You got some bombs, you got some human pine resin, some alluring skulls, some, some daggers, right? 
And I guess this is his armor, right? I don't think so. Poison arrows, man. This guy is a major scumbag in the spear he possesses. Nothing else, though. Kind of, uh, kind of a waste. That actually is his armor. Ah, I see you've made Grey Rat. A slinking rodent. But he did me a good turn back in Lothric Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well, I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> ah, that's dead. Can't find anything you like. Well, you could try looking a little harder. I mean, that's why he was trying to kill him, because he literally sells nothing of value. Anyways, um, I think that's it for here. There's nothing else we gotta do. At least not that I know of. So let's just, uh... What are we gonna... Wait, there's somebody else over there. Who's that? Is, is that the guy who's supposed to be protecting the, uh, the nun? Hold on. I haven't talked to that guy yet. Whoever he is. Hmm. Unkindled, are we? Oh, shit. And fast on the trail of the Lord's absconded. Then these red eyes are for you. Oh, shit. This guy is bad. Use them to pillage embers and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> pillage embers. What else are unkindled? Now, this is a person that I probably should kill. But let's just wait until he invades me, because I'm sure that that's something that's gonna happen at some point. We can kill him then. It's better that way. Alright, uh, I don't really have any souls. Nothing else to do. Let's move on. So, where did we left off? Because, I'm, ask I'm asking you, because I generally don't remember. Actually, actually... There was a place here that you guys told me to go to. Let's see if I can find it. What's in here, was it? Give me one second, boys. Do I remember where it was? Maybe I do. I went up a staircase. And oh, I went up an elevator. And in that elevator, I overlooked what was essentially uh, an area that had already been through. And in that area, I was supposed to turn left, but I did a right instead. And I missed out on what was apparently a really solid piece of armor. Not just for stats, but for lore. So I'm actually kind of excited to, to go back and uh, find this out. Also, just making sure there's nothing in here. I was told that uh, the sludge Buzz, who was supposed to be found here, was... Or escaped, rather. This is supposed to be his tomb, and he's no longer here. And that that information was passed down by some puppet or something. Which, I'm not sure what that's all about, because I don't remember that. At least, no puppet... Shit, made an appearance, as far as I am concerned. Oh boy. I think the location that I'm looking for is... ...down somewhere here. And if not, then that's fine and we can just leave, but uh... I definitely want to investigate some of these... ...hallways. Maybe this is just a shortcut, though. Is it here? I think I nailed it. Oh, you see that? There's like a spot over there. Okay, so this is it. Um, There is somewhere in here... ...a path. Not there. I might just have to jump... Oh shit, there we go. Haha, <laughs> I love you guys and your comments. 
Keep telling me this shit. I, I actually appreciate you guys trying to... Not trying to, but actually helping me. It would kill me to, like, miss cool shit. Especially bosses. I know... Th Ooh, I know there's bosses that are, like, secret. Wouldn't want to miss those. Uh, what am I looking for? Lord Sword Deep Ring allows attunement of additional spells. Awesome. Not for me, but I'm sure that someone will find that awesome. Is that it? Or... Can I jump down there? Is there... Okay! Is this gonna lead somewhere that I haven't been to before? I think so, actually. So let's give it a shot. Yeah, I don't think I've been here. More of those nails. Hey! Get out. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Those guys that I can't, like, break their poise. Fucking nastiness, man. There's no, no doors here. You guys have also been telling me that apparently there's a lot of illusionary walls in this game. I haven't found a single one. Literally. I haven't found a single illusionary wall. It's probably because... Um, people don't write them down on the floor with the messages. Which is fine. Um, mostly it seems like either I don't know how to open them or people are just trying to fool me. Which I gather it's the latter. But I haven't found a single one. I don't know, man. Yo! Oh shit, this is bad. Get down. Oh shit. Dude, this is like an entire area that I missed. Holy oh, shit. Let's just, let's just keep going. Oh fuck. Do we want to get that? So actually, let's head down here but first. Nice. It almost feels like I could just travel through the ceilings of this entire complex. Be wary of pointless. Oh, that sucks. I could probably jump down there, though. No, I could probably not. <laughs> Just keeps going down there. Nice. Very nice. Arbalest. All right. I actually tried a little bit of the uh, archery in this game. It's pretty fantastic. They came up with this concept of fast shooting where you can just almost like spam arrows. I'm sure that those of you who are interested in archery have probably already tried it. It's fantastic. And you can like quick shoot after you roll, which is also amazing. I really like it. They uh, they really go far and wide to make sure that all play styles are uh, enhanced. Jesus Christ, dude. This guy is making fun out of me. Get out of here. All right. I'm not sure what those pale tongs are there for. I'm, I'm sure they, they look like just tokens for some kind of covenant that would have to find the covenant first. Not very interested in that at the moment, though. This is what I'm interested in because what, if what you guys are telling me is true, what I'm supposed to get after this, I will lose it. I will lose my fucking mind if this is actually true. So I'm, I'm still very skeptical. But you guys haven't uh, failed me just yet. We got a lot of those. All right, I'm putting I'm putting my my cards down for that one. It's just you and me, buddy. Fuck, dude. That headbutt, though. God 
Gosh, my Isis Flasks heal for so much. I should just, like, wait until I'm really weak to use them now. Because now that I have the ring, that increases my Isis Flask usage. And plus three, this is... It's not even... It's not even fair anymore. Last gem. Okay, so that's not it yet. That's not what I'm supposed to find here. Used to... Okay, fused to create a blast weapon. It's pretty nice. It's kind of out of the way. But I appreciate that. Any Dark Souls player should appreciate little little secrets like these. I wonder if I can like knock down those chandeliers. I, I can't keep doing this. I have no stamina anymore. Pretty good, huh? Nice. <laughs> oh, that's pretty sweet. What do we have here? Dude, I need a fucking arbalist for this below so I can jump. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, we know to go down there. If there's nothing up here, I'm not gonna fucking jump just yet. Come on. Come on. Ah, shit. It's one of those guys. <sighs> ah. Alright, that's good. That's good. That's very good. Let's turn wall ahead. Nope. It's not motherfuckers. I'm really starting to wonder, like, it's actually getting to my head now. Maybe I just don't know how to open them. Because this just keeps on happening to me. Motherfuckers are getting to my head now. <laughs> God damn it. All right, well, we do have that one spot. I don't think I can hit the chandeliers, though they're way too far away from my blade. But I can fall down there. What for, though? There's nothing in there. God. No fucking way. nothing I swear to god if I drop down and that message there says pointless I'm gonna kill myself <laughs> okay I don't think there's anything else here so let's do it it's gonna say that it's gonna say that god fucking damn it <laughs> Uh, I could jump into the bridge, though, so it's not over. Nothing here. <sighs> okay. It's nothing in this bridge. Oh, god damn it. This was a waste of time. I was told of amazing things. I was promised lore friendly armors and I probably missed it. I can't even jump from here. I'm gonna die. Alright, well do not waste any more of your time guys. I am going to I'm going to Bone Ward. Bone Ward. Bone if I missed it, feel free to tell me exactly where it is up there, and I will uh, I'll come back. For now, I don't want to waste any more of your time, so let's uh, let's just keep going on our trajectory here. So we left in what was essentially I think it was the perimeter, right? Let's keep ruins. Might have been the ruins. I know that we haven't really gone inside of the tower of the keep itself. We just kind of gazed the outside a little bit. 
There it is. So let's uh, let's just walk from here once more. Cause I didn't really go too much in. Let's go this side now. If I'm lucky, I can probably make them fight each other again. Can't deal with people that don't break poise, man. It's hard. I'm gonna have to shield up for this, guys. Let's do it before the other ones come back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, what's my shield? What's a good shield? <laughs> I don't remember what my shield was. Silver ego. I can do this. Can I still roll? Nice. All right, here we go, boys. We're gonna do this. I'll show you the true power of having a shield with 100% physical reduction. Oh! That was way too close. Oh, shit. See, that's how you do it. Oh! Wait, that was supposed to be a counterattack. Fuck that guy. See, it allows me to do that, which is so much better. I can just protect myself, don't have to worry about their hits, and just fucking encircle them. It's so easy. And I say that after gotten hit a couple of times and, and freaking out a few times some more, but, uh... Ooh. Now this guy's on the other hand, you don't fucking block. Cause they'll just break it anyways. It's a little laggy. It's weird. Alright, so let's use one of these. Okay. Be wary of fire. Time for revenge. Try fleeing. I will go there in a bit. So many of those freaky undeads here, though. I'm making sure I don't miss anything. There we go. Those fucking sounds, though. What is going on inside? Oh shit! This is a boss battle, dude. This is a hundred and twenty percent a boss battle. Um, yeah, let's heal up. Poses and everything. Okay. I have my drinking pose. Oh no, dude. Abyss Watchers. Wait, how many Watchers? Oh, I. Jeez, fuck. Why? I destroy his poise, though, so. Oh, they're waking up, dude. They're waking up. Let's kill this guy fast. Ah! Oh no. Okay. Alright. I don't 
know what I would do without the shield in this scenario. Oh, I can hit them both. Nice. Come on, stop running. Dude. Oh, they're attacking each other. Beautiful. I need, I need my ember for this one. Now the real battle begins. So I wonder, I guess they all killed each other, didn't they? Okay! <laughs> Not cool, bro. Now if I can still flinch him... Might not be too bad. Actually, this this is okay. I can still flinch him. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. I need that HP. Wow, I actually made him flinch with just my block. That's crazy. It almost feels like I take less damage with my Amber. Well, that might just be. Me wanting to believe. I like this battle. I'm really digging it. <laughs> Get out. Senders of a Lord. Soul of the blood of the wolf. Cinders of a Lord. Oh, shit. Okay. Soul of the blood of the wolf. The blood was spread amongst the Abyss Watchers, and their souls are one with the soul of the wolf's bloodmaster. So the wolf, the soul that I possess, is of the blood of the wolf. So I have the soul of a wolf? Is that like... I'm trying to see... Because in the story, a lord's soul can be broken down into many pieces. If you guys remember, Lord Gwen, his, he split his soul into multiple pieces. Uh, giving it to... He gave it to, if I remember correctly... Um, Seath the Skellis and the uh, and the four kings so you can do that just like the dark soul can be split into multiple versions right the dark souls uh, the, the humanities um, but I'm trying to see who's the you know like the stairs go up to a certain individual who's that individual who's the the actual owner of the soul in the first place but it just talks of a wolf though doesn't really help me much. Now what about... I think what we're gonna find is... That information might just be from this. Cinders of a lord left by the Abyss Watchers. If the lords will not return to their thrones themselves, then let them return to Cinders. The Watchers of the Abyss swore upon their shared wolf's blood, which also served as their mandate as lords. I don't know.
I do like the, uh, just the visual aspect of this, though. For some reason, they, I mean, I guess they just went hollow or, or something and they just started killing each other. So now it's just, uh... A river of dead bodies. Huh. And it keeps going. I would have almost wanted that battle to be a little bit more um, lengthy, you know what I mean? Like, I would have liked it for it to be not just fighting the one guy, but actually fighting... Almost like fighting the choir in the tomb. But just with knights, you know, just like endless rivers of knights and you're just fucking, you know, cleaving your way through them. That would have been, I think, a little bit cooler. But that last battle with pretty much the Gwyn guy, because he's literally Gwyn, right? His sword was on fire and he was just doing some crazy fast maneuvers. That was amazing. I really liked that battle. Actually, I should probably take a rest here. I also have 26,000 souls, though. I should definitely not. There's a lot of dead people here, too. Pointless. Be wary of brew. Does this keep going? It does keep going. Alright, let's just let's just go back to... To Farling Shrine. I want to use my souls, but I also want to see what new weapons we can get. With these souls. Especially that guy. Thinking of some fire sword or something. It's really cool. Uh, we want to go to that one. That's not the one, actually. It's the other. God damn it. Aha. So. So what can we get? Uh. Deep soul, fire, darkened soul, sediment. So that, uh... Sorcery of Archdeacon Royce and his deacons. Since they have been imparted to them by MacDonald. Souls which swell from the deep, pursue their target, drawn towards life. It sounds like the the, the fatty ladies, the, the little shit that they throw. Could be that. Restore high HP for self and broad area. Not interested. Uh, Cleric's Candlestick. Guiding Light. It's, uh, it's actually a sword. Huh. i could try that for a Cleric Ron. That sounds actually kind of fun. Wolf's Knight Greatsword. Greatsword, I think we read, no, I read this one before. This, what, 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 what was the soul that creates this again? What does it say? I can't seem to find it. Oh, Soul of the Blood of the Wolf. So that's the one I just got. Cool. Great Sword of a Knight, tainted by the Dark of the Abyss, and Master of the Wolf's Blood of Farron. The Wolf Knight was the first Abyss Watcher, and his sword is more punishing against creations of the Abyss. So this is Artorias. It's pretty obvious. It's the Knight who fought against the Abyss. Um, but now it tells us that later on he created the Abyss Watchers to fight against the Abyss. Now that makes sense. So this has nothing to do with the Dark Raids. The Dark Raids are just an entirely different thing. They just happen to be in the same location. But it has nothing to do with the Abyss Walker Watchers. I would like to try this out. Is it strength based? It is. It requires a fair amount of dexterity, but that would be fun. Great sword by the Abyss Watchers. Uh... Which is uh, typically paired with an unusual, unusual dagger. The dagger is utilized as a wedge on the left hand, while the great sword is held on the right. A unique technique that was synonymous with the undead legion confounds foes in the manner of wolves hunting prey, and it's more dexterity based. It's very uh, bloodborne style, I, I, I would imagine. Soul of the dancer, yeah. Let's um. 
Let's actually go for this one. I I'm interested in giving it a shot. Sounds really fun. I'm not gonna be able to wield it, but uh wield it well, but I can at least see how the combos go. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fast, too. I kind of like it. We can give it a shot. I just need a lot of dexterity. See if we can get that. Um, actually, I, I don't really have much souls, but I can use this one because I'm not going to get any weapons for it. No white souls. All right, let's see how much dexterity we can get. And the guy is there. I didn't even realize. We can talk to him in a sec. Welcome. Very well. Dexterity. Let these Need a lot, man. Farewell, Ashen One. Ah, I know you. Been some time. I just dropped in to see how she's getting on. Now, what are you playing at with this circus? This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates couldn't be better. She must fit in perfectly here. <laughs> This place is a good Not a not a very nice guy, it seems like. Uh, now before I leave, I wanna see what it takes to actually improve these weapons, and I'm assuming it's the twinkling titanite, right? Ah, what? Enforce weapons. Uh titanite scale actually, but since we're gonna be using the weapon, let's go ahead and uh, start going through the process. Pretty be careful. Cool. Anyways, guys, this is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. That was a really cool boss. Uh, tomorrow, I will go down into what was... Um, see, there's this other area that uh, is, like, by the keep where the Fire Knights were that we went through on the last episode, but we didn't really finish it. I think there was, like, a was like a bonfire there, and I think we, we poured it back to the shrine from that, uh, from that one. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's, like, a spot over there that we can follow. So that would be tomorrow's job. Let's go ahead and put this one on. Anyways, that was fun. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.